what is good guys thank y'all for tuning back into the channel man if you're new make sure you hit that sub button down below to be notified for every single video that i drop man tuning into my channel man i react to a lot of christian stuff um a lot of encouragement that i have going on in this channel and i also love looking up people's testimonies i don't care what testimony it is and as y'all can see by the title man she was born with you, you can see it i don't want to say the word but you can see it um and on uh, let's, without me doing too much talking man i want to get into her story man you know what I'm saying? Let's just get into it. Y'all comment down below exactly what y'all think, and I say what I gotta say towards the end. Let's get it. I was born with HIV. Okay. There's a huge difference. What's your name? Francis. Okay. Where are you from? Miami, Florida. How many siblings do you have? Three biological and three. Okay. How would you describe your childhood growing up? Um. Do I have to rate it? No, that's how do you describe it? Like, some people, like, I would describe my childhood, maybe not the best, but it was okay. Like, how would you do, how would you describe it? I had structure. It? Okay. And discipline. Is it how you wanted it to be as a, as a child? No, not necessarily, but God made ways. So. Okay. At what age you felt like you had to grow up? I'd say when I was about 13, 12, 13. And why, why that age? For what happened during that age, that time frame? Things started to change. You too. Hey, listen, we back at it again. But tonight, we back with something special. We back with the real. Get into it, bro. No problem, no problem, no problem. So, like, how would you, how do you like your foster parents at around that time? Or godparents, should I say? Everything was fine to Danny up until. I got older, okay. and I went to get out and have fun. So, like, it was an article going around a few years ago, stating that you know you had a, an, a condition you was born with, and things like that. When did you find out about that? I was born with it, so therefore, I didn't know nothing about it until I got in elementary, as I got older, that's when things, I started to understand and actually realize what was going on. So you were taking pills like your whole life up until that point or? Every day. And then who told you that you had it? My foster mom and then the doctors, everybody knew. So when you find out, you know, you were a kid, so you're thinking, you think, you, just, you made us thinking pills is just pills, but when you find it out- It didn't make me feel normal until this day, I still don't feel normal, but that doesn't justify or determine who I'm gonna be in the future. Okay, so how did you feel around that time? Was you angry? Was I you was confused? mad. Didn't you hear me just say that don't determine who is, who, that how that's gonna make me turn out in the future? No, nah, you're right, you're right. So, my past don't dictate my future. I right. dictate my future. You're right. So during high school, um, was you opening to like, once you found out, was you opening to like telling people? No, okay. still not open, but. What was your reason for not being open? You didn't want, you know, certain people may not understand correctly and things like that. Not everybody understand. If it was to get to the wrong person or somebody else find out, then God forbid I could get hit, get shot at, I could lose my life right here, right now today. If anything was to go wrong in that predicament. Okay, so the clip were up like a lot of people, rumors and things like that. A lot of people may say that, oh, she have HIV or oh, she have AIDS, whatever the case may be. There's a difference between the two. You're right. Oh, so AIDS you can't get rid of, HIV can. Oh, I didn't know okay. that. Okay, so which one do you may have that you have? I have, I was born with HIV. Okay, There's okay. a huge difference. A lot, you know, a lot of people, especially you take around... medicine for HIV. Once especially you hit full grown AIDS. AIDS, there's nothing more, not, nobody else can do. No, you're right, especially... That's how I lost my mom. Oh, from AIDS? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm assuming she got it from your dad, she got it... My know. brother's dad. And you was born like that? But the other two weren't. Okay, so the other two, they perfectly fine? Yep. Okay, nothing wrong with that then. So... I got hit with shitty end of the bargain. No, I wouldn't say that. You know, you still alive, it, you know? I did. You still got all your limbs, you feel me? You still beautiful and all that, so I wouldn't say... You know what I'm saying? You have it, but like your skin's still shining, you know, everything on you still, you know, glowing and things like that. So I don't think, you know, you still beautiful. Yeah, she is. She, she's definitely beautiful. Um, she has definitely a glow about her. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, but I never knew it was the difference between HIV and AIDS. I thought it was the same thing. So I definitely learned something new in this video, man. Before and all that I say. So like, so like when you meet a guy and like, do you ever feel like you want to tell him? I do. So how long do you wait until you tell him or you just never tell him? It depends on how far I'm going to go with the person before I just come out and say, hey, X, Y, Z. Okay. It, it don't work like that. Can you give me a story time of a time where you did tell somebody and how they responded? It did not go as planned. Oh, how did it go? A quick little story time. Long story short, um, when I told the person how I felt and explained why we couldn't do what we why we couldn't do what we were supposed to do, guns got drawn. I left. Oh wow! So they at least let you leave, though, right? I left. It it, it wasn't no catching me. Did that kind of like mess with your mental and make you like it really did. scared? That was that was it for me. Okay. That's okay. why I won't say nothing or open up my mouth to nobody unless I know for a fact we gonna rock and we gonna roll until the wheels fall off. You're right. And just to get a clear understanding, you are non detected right now, right? Thank you. I wanted to get that out there, you know. So people, like, like a lot of people, especially around like our age, you know, like young adults and things like that. They ain't gonna understand that you yeah. actually sit down and explain it to somebody. After all that shit happened in high school, sophomore year, but the situation and all that shit that got out, it, it was wrapped from there. Be aware of her, her, her name is Frances. She's 18. She got kicked out of Central a couple months ago for giving a 14 year old. Really? It's sad that she was born with it, but she don't want to take her medicine and do the right thing for herself. She left home and is now pregnant. She's messing with a lot of young boys between Central and the West. What? Get a clear understanding. You are non detected right now, right? Thank you. I wanted to get that out there, you know? Because like, like a lot of people, especially around like our age, you know, like young adults and things like that. They ain't going to understand that you yeah. actually sit down and explain it to somebody. After all that shit happened in high school, sophomore year, but the situation and all that shit that got out, it, it was wrapped from there. I didn't have nowhere to go, nowhere to stay. I was living for politicals. That shit was... So you went... Found out I was pregnant, had an abortion, was forced to have one. That shit was crazy. That's a year I don't want to talk about. Okay. So how long was you homeless for, would you say? for a minute, to be honest, until I moved away and graduated from high school out of town. Okay, so so, with, cause, so like you told me, you know, you felt a lot of like child neglect and homelessness and things like that. At any point in your life that you ever thought about like, you know, like selling your body for money, anything like that? I mean, everybody, Got a life. Yeah. Everybody made their own decisions. And we grown, you know. And with that being said, I needed money, and I went from the I went from the stay in nobody else's house. Okay. So how I long, did what I had to do. How long did you do it for? What? Uh, we are in twenty four. I started this the middle of last year, the beginning of last year. Okay, and you stopped now, or you still? I doing stopped. It? Okay, okay. So only so you only did. What, prostitution for a year? I wouldn't say a full year, it was off and on. A half a year? It was off and on, so therefore it's not, it wasn't even a full year, a half of a year. Okay, okay, okay. Because it wasn't consistent. Did you have a pimp or you wasn't into I that? had a pimp. So how did the whole pimp life work? Like, was you afraid of him? Was it something that was like? Yeah, I was afraid and then there were times I was, I weren't. So how was your, can you tell me like a story time of like your first time with your first customer, how, how that was? Um, it did not go as smooth. What happened? During that, in, during, in that time, of, in that type of business, people are supposed to use protection. You have people that don't want to. That's where the line gets drawn. And if I say no, no means no. So what happened? But if you stuff? threaten to, if you threaten my life or try to put my life in harm's way, the hey, let bad guns be bad guns. So what made you want to just completely leave like the prostitute life alone? I wouldn't want my child to grow up like that. Exactly. So you have a good... What is your goals in life? I'm 24 now. By the end of this year, I should have my house. Okay. 
by the summer I should have my car, okay. which is in like a month and a half, two months from now. Okay. And long term, find a career. I like that, you know. And how do you plan on getting all these things so soon, like the house, the car? I have a job okay. already, which pays weekly. Okay. Um, in order to meet the goals that I want to achieve, I would have to save first. You can't just spend money on unnecessary bullshit. Okay. You got necessities. You're right. So, like, how do you cope with, like, pain and stress and things like that? And everything you go through, how do you cope with it? If I don't have nothing to smoke, I'm finna go to the liquor store. Have you ever thought about suicide when you're facing like all the backlash from what you're born with and things like that and all that like lifestyle? That how stuff do you, don't end. And how do you stop yourself every time they do come to like your thought in your mind? How do you stop yourself? I ain't ever think of it that like that. That's crazy. I lost my mom, so it won't it it wouldn't be right if God forbid something was to happen to me and my grandma got to bury me. So no, I, I can't I can't leave my grandma by herself. I like that. I mean, like, that, that was a great that was a great answer right there. I seen like an article back in 2018, 2017. I don't know that exact year, so don't quote me on that. I remember the picture and I know exactly what article you're talking about. Okay, so like a lot of people may want to know, like oh. A lot of people want to know, like, you already answered it, but a lot of people want to know, like, oh, did she get it from inside the streets and bring it to the school, you know? And things no, like that. that's not how it went. Okay. And everybody that I went to school with that personally know me, personally know me, know that that's not how it happened. I, I was question. messing with somebody. This was, It happened over the summer. Okay. It was protected. Come to find out, after he had sex with me, he went and had unprotected sex with somebody else. But the way his sister and the sister girlfriend put it, and he put it, it was me, which wasn't. So it kind of made me feel some type of way. So people was assuming that because you already have it, that you was the person that automatically gave it to him. Mm -hmm. When the whole time that it was somebody there. else. So let me ask you a question. So during, I remember I was when that happened, I was inside school sitting in class. So when you was inside class, you seen everything that's going viral and going around. How was your mind? That's like, the thing. I wasn't in school. Where you was at? I wasn't in school when all y'all fig when all y'all knew that. Oh, so wherever you was, hey, how was your mind just moving when you seen everything online? How would you? What were you thinking? How would you? I was ready to kill myself. So how long was you having them thoughts like that whole day? Whole day. It took me a year and a half to get over that. Do you know who let that information out that you did have it? Cause you seem very private. My foster. Mother is the person who released the information out on social media. What made her release it? I don't know. By me, I guess by me not wanting to come home. Oh, so it was for a small reason like that she just said that. That's not right. Do you? So, how, what is you and your foster parents' relationship like right now? <laughs> Leave that book closed. That's the book I'm not trying to open. Do you, do you still believe you can find love? Yeah, but I can't find love if I don't love myself first. Okay. And why do you feel like you don't love yourself right now? Probably because I'm not where I expect to be. Okay. And where do you want to be? Five, five six years ago, I would imagine or manifest that I will have a house by the age of 22 or 23, have a car, and I'm set for life, but things did not go like that. Okay, so do you ever feel like you're not doing enough and things like that? Sometimes, but not all the time. Okay, so what is an example of like love to you? Like what do love mean to friends? Everybody takes love a different way. Okay, so what do it mean to you? Hmm. I'm not really sure how I can put that. What is your dream? But the way about? I see it, it's the little things that matter the most to a person. And what is your dream type of guy? 
like your dream dude, your Prince Charming, what is he? What does he look like? What is what is his character, his traits? I don't know. I guess I'll cross that that path when I get there. Okay. Now back to like the prostitute and prostitution subject. The time when you was doing that, was like any of the dudes like super creepy or to the point where it was just like a turn off completely where you just wouldn't do it no more? No, I mean, it wasn't like that. Okay. Because a lot of people who don't know about prostitution, they just be so curious and things like that. They don't know how it really is out there, you know? You have to be mindful of what you do and how you do things. Don't, you can't just get into a car and don't know, and don't ask the questions you're supposed to ask. What questions should you ask? You're supposed to ask the person, is he, a, is he or she a cop, yes or no? The person don't ask. If the person answers, then you ask, can you see their private part? And then you ask to touch their private part to make sure it's no mic or they're, they're not recording. Okay. So was you one of the prostitutes that's like stand on the corner or you had like a website you'd be on? I had a website. Okay. So you was more modern, you know. Okay. So describe your pimp. Was he abusive? Was he... I heard something about a gorilla pimp. <laughs> I didn't even know what that mean. I'm like, what, what did that even mean, you know? A gorilla pimp is a pimp that puts his hands on females. Oh, wow. Did you have a gorilla pimp? No. Oh, you didn't play that, huh? No. Because okay. <laughs> if, go if I'm going to jail, your ass going with me. That's the, only, that's the only way that's going to happen. Okay. How much money did you, would you say you made in a day before? Like 18? Yeah. 1800. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You made 18 dot. Yeah, I ain't know what you was talking about. How much you think you made in a week? Plus the five. Oh, five bands. Okay, okay. So did you get like full profit? Was it like something that was split? You know, anything like that? Anything I made, I did. It was it was not for me. It was given to him. So how much did you get for yourself? D no. You you don't keep the money. That's the thing about it. If you have a pimp, you don't know. So he just provides you like protection? That's it. And food and clothes and hairdos and nails and feet. That's it. Other than that, it was that was it. Okay. Did anybody know you was doing that or it was something that was a secret? Um my people's found out, like my aunties and them, once they found out it was raps. Or they had put it in it out, huh? Once I found out the whole family knew I was like, Yeah, that's it for me. Who was the person that told you that you had HIV? My foster mom and her ex-husband. They told you to get her? They told me at two separate times. So give me, tell me the time when the dad told you. I uh, was what? I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, I was in middle school. And he was sitting outside the car. And I came outside to give, I forgot what I was taking, but I walked outside and he was like, we started talking about boys. And for some reason, I don't know how the, how the conversation came up, but to make it a long story short, he was like, do you know what's wrong with you? I said, uh, not necessarily. Why? He was like, the condition you got, if you do anything unprotected, that's 25 years of life. I was like, okay. I, was, I hesitated. It was long hesitation. And then he went to talk about using protection and how to do stuff, when to do it. And that was that. So at the time, did you know what HIV was? Like, was you already a form of it or no? Not necessarily, but as I got older, I kind of did the research on my own. Okay. So just to clarify some things up, you never transmitted anything to another person, right? Okay. What would you tell another girl who's going through the same things that you was going through growing up, who just needs somebody to talk to, who just need help, who needs somebody who don't know they don't know what to do. They don't like their last leg of just like, what would you tell that person right now? Because you don't know how much motivation you is. To don't give person. up. It's not the end of the world. You're not alone. Last but not least, if there's a will, there's a way. I used to think that I was the only person I had that had that situation, that had that problem. No. Uh, it's a whole world. And it wasn't even y'all fault. I didn't even get the chance to make that decision to even get it, you know? That's something y'all was born with. So your brothers, they was born fully clean, huh? Nothing wrong with them? 
Okay. So growing up, so you would say you had a lot of anger built into you? Yeah. What about now that you've grown? Same thing. Okay. So how do you stop yourself from exploding? Like, that's hard. People got like an anger like I that. I smile to keep the day going. Okay. Is that why you smoke weed a lot? How do weed make you feel? It keep me calm. It numbs me to everything. I can sit and smoke a whole 14. What age did you lose your virginity? I had to been 14. 14. So from the age of 14 to 24, how many bodies would you say that you have? God damn. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, this like. You know, I don't count. If you, so give me like an estimated number. Not counting. There's no way. We touch like a lot of topics and things like that. Like, do you feel like a little relief just like to finally be able to talk about like something you never tell anybody else, there's things you always keep to yourself. Do you feel a little relief now? Just a little bit. A little bit? Can you breathe one time? Like, you know what I'm saying? You got a pretty smile. Can we, can we at least catch a smile one time? Like, she got a gorgeous ass smile. She don't want to use it, man. I don't. That's crazy. Like, you be trying to hold your smile back. Believe it or not, that's what that's what people tell me at work. People be telling you that? What they tell you? They be like, why you look so mean? Smile sometimes. Say cheese. Like no. And you be holding it back. You keep holding it back, you go pop, you feel me? You blush and turning red and all that. <laughs> well, I thank you. Thank you, Francesca. Or Francis, I apologize. Francis. Francis. That's um Man, y'all comment down below what y'all think, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say something, man. Um, yeah, man. Sometimes people are born in situations that they have no control over. You know what I'm saying? And, I mean... It is what it is, man. That was a, I mean, that was an inspiring story right there, man. Um, I hope that whatever she's going through, that she will get through it. At the end of my video, so I'll say stay inspired, stay motivated, stay grinding. Until next video, I'm out of here. Peace.